hi you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl ty i go by <clears throat> so how are you guys doing today is sunday fun day church day praise the lord amen thank god for another day anyways like i said i wanted to talk to you guys about my c-section experience some people say well some people say c-section some people say cesarean so anyways just to clear it up to that format if y'all don't know what i'm trying to say yes my tv is on in the background anyways so that experience was insane i had a doctor's appointment that day at two o'clock i did not feel like going or coming in but i came because my sister was like you need to go in and i said to my brother i don't feel like being bothered i don't feel good or whatever and then he was saying maybe you should read the and i was like yeah maybe i should and i'm glad i didn't because i ended up having my baby on that day Gisela, Giselle, or whatever I'm going to call her. She was born that day because you were saying her heart was increasing and decreasing or whatnot or whatever. And she was born that night at 11.20 p.m. on March the 3rd. My original due date was March 26th. She was born a couple of weeks early. She was born at 36 weeks. She's still a little bit premature, but she was still with six pounds and one ounce and 18 inches. So she was pretty good, you know. I just didn't want her to be like a four pound baby, three pound baby. So this is all good, you know. Yeah. So that experience was intense and insane. I had to have, yeah, the cesarean, like I said. And they was like giving me these shots in my back and it was hurting so bad. Because they wanted me to arch my back. Like, I'm like, I can't arch it no father like, <laughs> you know what i mean it was so painful and then it was like cutting me open and stuff and look i got a picture of it i feel like i look like a hot mess um because i wasn't expecting to have her on that day that i did what i did because you never know they come any day you know when the time is ready I've come to find out she had like a cord around her neck because one of the doctors told me that like after they already did the surgery or whatever because they wouldn't even tell me because I had, you know, this other doctor ended up telling me this lady. <clears throat> so I had her at Hartford Hospital in Connecticut. Um, yeah, the capital of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. So I had her and I was like throwing up and stuff. My friend was there and throwing up this medication that they gave me. Gave me like some kind of spinal medication shots, and um, I didn't get no epidural because you know I didn't exactly push her out, but anyways, and then I had to take these shots because I'm like negative, um, negative O, she's positive O, so I had a shot they had to give me the next day, and they also gave me a shot while I was carrying her, um, way before I had the C section. Yes, my little baby. She's so cute and precious. Everybody's saying she looked like me, whatever. Um, I don't have any pictures when I was a baby, so I don't know how I look like. And he's just saying, look at her. And that's how you looked at That's what my sister said. So, <laughs> yeah, it's so cute. Yeah, she's pretty, though. Yeah, she's the next generation because I'm the first one to give my parents a grandbaby out of five kids because I got, like, you know, three other sisters, one brother. He was hoping that it was a boy, but it was a little girl. I knew she was going to be a little girl. Yeah. So that was pretty cool experience. Like, being a single mom is not easy. Of course, sperm donor wasn't there. I had a friend of mine that was there, and my sister ended up coming. So that was great and amazing. And the hospital did something that I didn't like. I'm not going to get into much detail about it because I don't want to talk about it on the media. So, anyways. <laughs> yeah so she had a doctor's appointment oh i don't want to just talk about her doctor's appointment but i'm gonna get into it anyway since i end up jumping on topic of it anyway she had a doctor appointment <laughs> yesterday and the doctor said she was 13 pounds and 66 ounces a little bit overweight so she just wanted to drink five ounces of milk because I was feeding her every two to three hours and she said she only needed to eat three to four hours because she is not a newborn. Well, she's still a newborn to me, but, you know. 
saying that she could wait longer to eat than she was able to do before. So now I gotta put my little baby on a diet. Back to five ounces every three to four hours instead of two to three hours like I was doing before. So it is what it is. I'm gonna follow the doctor's orders. The only thing I can do. Our next appointment is like next month, July the fifth. She was having a screaming fit. Apparently she got colic going on. So I wanted to show you guys um the formula that the doctor recommended that she should take, but they didn't have it in um they got formula for this liquid. They didn't have it in powder because she went and checked. This is like a sample of it. It's this stuff right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or whatnot, but this is how it looks. She want her to take this for colic, um, and she's going to be sending some colic drops, so I'm going to have to pick that up from CVS tomorrow, so to get my baby, like, back on track or whatnot, and this is, like, $55 for two, I meant for four, for the liquid, and then for the powder, they got selling it for 40 but they also got some of them that's like two three hundred dollars in ebt which stamps does not cover it so you have to have cash in order to get this stuff so that's quite expensive so i'm gonna try to get quick or whatever so i don't have to stress about that because it's very stressful of course i got my sister that can help me get this and one of my friends is like a auntie or godmother to my baby girl she's trying to look into it figure out how to help you know get this until i could get a job and stuff because I'm still working on that trying to get a part-time job because I still want to spend time with my baby I don't want to work full-time feeling like I'm like missing out like you know I don't want to miss out on time with her I'm trying to like she might have grown so fast before you know it so I'm just like enjoying motherhood you know anyways I also want to talk about postpartum depression a little bit Put a little snippet snippet in there. So, <laughs> we can talk about that as well. Um, I had a little bit of postpartum experience. It was not a great experience because I was not feeling happy. I was falling down when I got released from the hospital. I was in so much pain. And I had to take care of her. I was, like, aching all the time. And I was just laying down all day. I wasn't, like, watching TV or nothing. I was hurting so bad. I was just looking at my phone and stuff, trying to get as much sleep as possible. I was just, like, so, so tired. And... It was very stressful, so I finally went to my OBGYN, and, you know, had an appointment with them, and they gave me some postpartum medication, depression, or whatever, for that type of stuff, and I felt a lot better once I started taking it, so, I'm good, and I'm, you know, doing what I need to do, and I feel happy, I feel vibrant, I feel amazing, and I hope you guys are doing great out there, and that you're living your best life, and you're not settling for nothing, don't settle for less, do what you need to do, single mamas, and if you're in a relationship, and you're watching this, and you're married, and you're happily married, and congrats, you know, and you're raising a good fam, you know, it's all love, it don't matter who's watching this video, um, I appreciate you. I love you. I'm here for you guys. So, you know, I'm just doing me, doing what I do best. Living my best life. Enjoying being single, you know. Not rushing into no relationship. Because if it's not what I'm looking for, I'm not going for it. I'm 27. I'm still young. I still got time to, you know, figure things out. Like I want to make sure my baby got all my attention right now and like, be in a relationship that's not it for me right now because my baby needs me and of course I will get in a relationship or whatever if I could find the right guy but that's not in the cards for me not lately then two relationships didn't work out is what it is I'm not gonna let it get me down I'm still gonna be my happy vibrant self and I'm still gonna shine no matter what so it gotta be, you know, gotta be good, gotta be in good health because my baby needs me at the end of the day. She comes first. So it is what it is. So I hope you guys are doing amazing and keep your faith up. Stay strong, you know. Just pray and that's what I do every night. Pray for my baby, pray for me, pray for my family, um, my parents, my brother, my sisters. You know, I just pray and keep the faith. That's what I believe in doing. So that's the way I was raised. And I'm going to continue to do that. And continue to grow as a mom. As a person. And 
continue to raise my baby and do what I do best. So you guys could follow me on my Instagram, Miss Pretty Diamond without the A. And you can check me out on Facebook, Takia Gaston. And I also have Twitter, Miss Blue Diamond, at Miss Blue Diamond. <laughs> I forgot to mention that in my last video. I knew I was forgetting one of my social media accounts. But it is linked in my description box on the video that I had posted yesterday. If you guys want to check that out as well. So, and I also have a Pinterest. But I don't really go on Pinterest like that. And I didn't pin Pinterest in my description box. It's fine or whatever. I got Snapchat as well. And I don't have TikTok. Not yet. <laughs> so trying to, you know, figure that out. TikTok been out for a minute, but TikTok, TikTok is on and popping, excuse me. So everybody blowing up on that too, I've been seeing. So yeah. So I will check back in with you guys another time. Baby girl was sleeping and we'll let her relax and sleep. And I do plan on putting her in my video as well pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. And it's your girl Ty. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share it with your friends and family. And I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.